Thank you for logging in. Uh, today I'm going to look at the Factor Theorem. I'm going to actually split this lesson into two parts. Uh, the first part I'm going to give you a very simple explanation of what the Factor Theorem is and the second lesson uh, I will go over some exam questions for you. What I've got here is a very simple quadratic curve. Uh, from here we can see that one of the roots is x equals 5, the other is x minus 3. If we were to now work backwards and try to create a function out of this information, what we'd have is we've got f of x equals x minus 5 and this root here is x plus 3. If I expand this, we get x squared plus 3x minus 5x minus 15. If we tidy this up, we get x squared minus 2x minus 15. This is our function. The factor theorem very simply states this, that if I can take any value of f for x, and should I be able to substitute it into here, and should I get 0 as the answer, that tells me straight away that I've found a factor. Let's work backwards again then. What I have here is 5, so if I try f of 5, we get 5 squared which is 25, take away 2 times 5 which is 10, take away 15, tidying this up, I get 25, take away 25. What we've found is that when I evaluate f of 5, I actually get 0. And in a nutshell, that is what the factor theorem is. Take any function, and if you take values for f of x, and should you then get 0, you've actually found the factor. Now in previous lessons, we would have done algebraic division, which obviously takes a lot longer. I mean here, if we actually look at the function f of x, which is x squared minus 2x minus 15, the first thing to come to mind is the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15, and all of these can be plus or minus, plus or minus, plus or minus. So you'll find that 5 is the plus 5 and that negative 3 is that negative 3. Later on I'll show you when we start comparing coefficients and where we can very very quickly um, be able to uh, factorise uh, cubic uh, just by having just one piece of information we'll be able to find all the rest of the factors. Now I do actually have a simple Exam uh, sorry, I'll just go over this first. The factor theorem, this is the uh, textbook uh, definition. In other words, if this is a factor, x minus b over a, then when I take the function and I substitute b over a, I will get 0. I will only get 0 if this is a factor. So this is a factor. I will get 0. And here, this is again confirming that if that is a factor, when we divide by that, we will get 0. I will now share with you an exam question. Okay. What we're told is determine whether x minus 3 is a factor or not. Previously we would have done algebraic division, but here what we'll do is if x minus 3 is a factor, it means that we need to evaluate f of 3. So f of 3, 3 cubed would be 27, 6 times 3 squared would be 9, 5 times 3 would be 15, and then the 12. That would be 27, that would be 54, that would be
that would be 27. Putting the 27s together, 54 take away 54. So what we have shown is that f of 3 equals 0. Now remember, if we're able to evaluate f for any number here, and should we get 0, what that is telling us is that x minus 3 is a factor. And that is very simply the factor theorem. It's very, very straightforward. And my next um, podcast, I will actually go over a few exam questions in more detail. Again, please feel free to contact me. Thank you very much.